Hello, so today I thought I would do a little video about uh, exfoliating powders and powder cleansers, which can be really nice, very, very lightly exfoliating and not harmful to the skin if it's formulated and made properly using fine powder. Some of them can be really damaging to skin and even cause uh, micro tears in the skin. So if it's too rough or too abrasive or just not formulated well, it can actually end up doing more damage than good. But a really nicely formulated one can really leave your skin feeling clean, uh, soft, and cleansed and just really nice and bright. So you have to really find the good ones. And I've got a few that I found to be really irritating and potentially harmful to skin. And I've got a few ones which really did a nice job. And uh, I'm, I think I'm gonna start with the Isn't Tree. They've got the Mugwort Powder Spot Saver, which actually are perfect for traveling. If you travel a little bit or often or ever again, you can just bring one of these little powders with you and you don't need to bring a whole bait, bottle of uh, face cleanser and you don't have to worry about TSA and things like that because it's just a powder. It really does a nice job uh, cleansing your skin, doing a little bit of light exfoliation, and also even calms skin a little bit. And it's really formulated well because the powder is milled super fine and it's got some mugwort in there which can be calming as well. So this one is one of my favorites. Another favorite of mine is the Casarex Centella Cleansing Powder which are packaged again really nicely. They're packaged just like this. So if you're going for a quick trip or an overnight, one little thing is all you need and it's got Centella Asiatica in there which is great for skin. It foams up a little bit and the powder uh, does a nice job kind of cleansing, removing sunscreen, uh, sebum, things like that. It does a great job with that and it has no fragrance in there. So it's perfect for sensitive skin that can't handle a lot of uh, cleansing and a lot of powders and scrubs and things like that. I personally think it's kind of a perfect kind of scrub powder that doesn't damage skin. For one of the ones I really disliked, the Mad Hippie two, mil, two, two Minute Two Million Polishing Mask. This ends up with no foam. It doesn't cleanse skin. It's really rough and abrasive. And it really just didn't do much of anything good for my skin. To be honest, after trying it a few times, I probably won't ever touch this bottle again just because it left my skin feeling not clean, kind of irritated, almost red afterwards, and just didn't offer anything I liked. So I don't know, Mad Hippie, their original releases were great. Some of their newer stuff has just left me disappointed though. This one, and then they had another product, was that a cleansing balm, cleansing oil. Did not like that one either, so I don't know. We'll see what else they come out with. I won't rule them out yet. Okay, another one I really like is the Good Molecules Pineapple Exfoliating Powder, which uh, gives you a little bit of a lather, which is nice. Does a great job cleansing skin and removing makeup or sunscreen, mascara, things like that. Uh, you can really pick the amount you want to use, which is nice. And uh, so you can just pour out as much as you want or as little as you want. And it really does a good job cleansing skin, kind of exfoliating it, removing any flakes. And it does it very nicely without irritating skin or leaving it feeling uh, dry or uh, flaky or irritated afterwards. So this one is a massive love. Good Molecules is doing really good lately, so I'm really enjoying them. Okay, for another one I did not like so much, I know a lot of people are gonna disagree with me about this, but the Tatcha Polished, what do they call it, Classic Rice Enzyme Powder, they've done a good thing, Tatcha has, because now they've released uh, another version of this for sensitive skin, which I have not tried yet because the first product scared me off. I know a lot of people swear by it, but I find this one a little bit too abrasive. So perhaps if you don't have sensitive skin and your skin has a nice healthy skin barrier, maybe you won't notice the uh, irritating effects or kind of the uh, abrasiveness of it. But I just personally didn't care for this one. I'll have to try the sensitive version. If you've tried the sensitive or the other version, let me know what your thoughts are. Maybe that one's a little bit better for sensitive skin, I hope, but overall, uh, and you know what I didn't like so much? 
This one didn't really clean your skin as much. It was just kind of like an additional step, which there's nothing wrong with that if the additional step really does something good for your skin, but I just didn't buy into it. But I know a lot of people love it, so no offense. Don't get mad. Okay. So for another one that I like, the Wish Trend Green Tea Enzyme Powder is really nice. This one is packaged in a bottle, so you can just, again, dispense the amount you like and uh, it does a nice job. It gives you a very, very slight foam and it does a slight amount of cleansing. With this one, I still think you need to use a little bit of a cleanser first because it doesn't remove everything, but if you use this as an additional step, it does a nice job, does a little bit of exfoliation, has some good ingredients in there which are good for skin, super affordable, and I overall like this one. For another one I don't like, and I know a lot of people also will disagree, I went through several of these little bottles the more Pacific Enzyme Powder. This one, again, I found it to be too harsh, and it did have a fair amount of fragrance in it, which I just feel like the exfoliating process, the abrasiveness, and the fragrance, it was just like a duo drama. It was just like a duo. <laughs> it just didn't work well for me, I guess. I, it was just like too much of too bad of things. Does that make sense? Anyway, and for the price, I don't know, it just, there's just much better products that are much more affordable. Okay, for one I mostly liked, uh, that is the Dr. Circle. Is that how they pronounce it? They merged with the other brand, League and Ham. I'm mispronouncing that too, but this one's also packaged in a nice bottle. It does have a little bit of fragrance, however, it's pretty much unnoticeable when you use it but it does produce a nice amount of foam and cleanse skin all in one step. Uh, if you can get past a little bit of fragrance, which is not too bad, it overall does a nice job cleansing skin, exfoliating it, and leaving it feeling soft and not overly dry after using it. And for one I am totally torn on, which doesn't happen often, it's the Fresh Vitamin C Nectar Pow Glow Powder, which come packaged like this. The packaging is not the most convenient, because you need to fold it, rip it open, and dispense both. If you use them separately, you will not be happy because they need to be mixed. But it is fine. It does a good job cleansing. It has a little bit of scent in there, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it's not mostly noticeable. And the powder is pretty much fine, which is good. And it does a pretty good job cleansing skin overall. Doesn't do the best with waterproof mascara, but overall, it's a good product for the most part. A couple things I'd change about it, but... Again, I do like the convenient packaging. If you're traveling, it's super travel friendly. So anyway, those are my favorite, least favorite, and ones I'm torn on, uh, enzyme powder exfoliating cleanser scrubs. <laughs> exfoliating cleanser scrubs. So anyway, I'm interested in hearing from you guys if you have a favorite one, if you don't use them, if you have bad experience, if you have a good experience. Uh, certainly leave a comment. I love hearing from you and hopefully I'll be back in my studio tomorrow. It's been torn to pieces for so many things so I'm excited. We did some spiffing up of it so uh, be sure to stay tuned for more and thank you so much.